and welcome to this week's episode of Wrap Up. Okay, so this week's episode of Wrap Up, we are actually going to talk about events that happened from the 12th to 25th of November itself. So we're going to start it off with where Malaysia's Magic, Uber and also DG actually kicked off their own ideation lab to groom select startups itself. So on the 22nd of November, Magic announced that the ride hailing app Uber and also telecom operator DG will actually kick off the ideation lab where 20 startups will be groomed and select ones will actually meet early stage investors. So the six day initiative is called ASEAN's Next Great Idea will conclude on November 30th itself. They will learn how to develop three key aspects of their future business itself, customer, product and also the market itself. The lab will also provide participants with direct access to the best resources in the ecosystem, practically Magic's expertise in building entrepreneurs, Uber's real world experiences and also DG incubates strength in startup strategy. So following the labs then the top 10 participants will actually present their refined business ideas to key executives from Magic, Uber and DG at the Global Entrepreneurship Community event on December 8th in Kuala Lumpur. The next news, Malaysian startup Bergi Law raises 200,000 USD to help users find solution to their legal woes. So practically on the 20th of November, Kuala Lumpur based legal tech startup Bergi Law announced that it has raised a 200,000 funding US dollars funding round led by Think Big Venture. The startup is an online marketplace for legal services which actually serves as an initial point of contact for corporates, internal legal counsel, individual customers to solve their legal issues. Bergi Law cited plans to use the new funding for marketing purposes. It aims to manage more than 20 legal inquiries or appointment per appointments per day and sign up 500 lawyers by the year 2017. The third item in our listing is practically KL-based beauty advisory platform Favol raises 500,000 USD in seed round led by Gobi Partners. So on the 17th of November, Kuala Lumpur based beauty advisory platform Faithful announced that they actually raised 500,000 US dollars in funding in a seed round led by Gobi Partners. So it aims to use the newly raised capital to practically boost its marketing efforts and expand into new countries beyond Singapore and Malaysia. For those of you who didn't know, practically Faithful was launched in 2016 by Sasha Tan, the former vice president of product at online grocery retailer Happy Fresh. Faithful rates beauty products based on their suitability for a wide range of metrics such as skin type, skin color, age group and so forth. Okay, so for the fourth item that we're going to talk about is practically 100 people have participated in the first SWSWK event at iCube Innovation. So on the 11th to 13th of November, 100 participants actually comprising students and also working adults who were eager to spark their entrepreneurial skills actually attended the first ever Startup Weekend Sarawak event at iCube Innovation. The 54-hour event, which is part of global startup movement in over 100 countries, has the ultimate goal of actually equipping entrepreneurs and potential entrepreneurs with the fundamental tools of the startup ecosystem itself as well as mining for some of the brightest entrepreneurial ideas yet to be seen in Sarawak. So the statewide edition is the largest one yet and was actually organized by iCube Innovation in partnership with the Malaysian Global Innovation and Creativity Center Magic. Out of the 14 teams that partic participated in the event, uh, the team Ju was a judge having the best business pitch by the judges themselves. So congratulations to Ju. So now it brings us to the fifth and final it happening that I, I think that was really really great. Magic pushes social entrepreneurship forward through Sahati. So on the 12th of November, Sahati, the social enterprise initiative from Magic themselves, concluded its nationwide year-long roadshow on November 12th with the Sahati Grand Finale 2016. So the event actually gathered promising social entrepreneurs at a marketplace where they could showcase the results of their hard work over the year as well as share highlights and challenges of their journey. So practically, the Sahati program was established to raise awareness of the opportunities and benefits of social entrepreneurship and to encourage mass participation in the movement on a national level. It is also a part of Magic's efforts to support the National Social Entre Enterprise Blueprint 2015 to 2018. Practically, it's a strategic roadmap for developing the social entrepreneurship sector in Malaysia itself. 
Magic CEO Asharan Ghazi revealed that Magic SE's focus now, now is actually to find a cost-effective way to scale the success Sahati had with uh, awareness among potential entrepreneurs and investors as well as the conversion rate of entrepreneurs with an idea to legitimate social enterprise. So that's it! If there was anything that I kind of missed out or you actually there are more things that you want me to highlight in the next edition of wrap up Please let me know in the comment sections below and I'll just do it until next week I'll catch you in another episode of wrap up